Hey everybody, welcome back to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the flowchart uh, view in After Effects CS6. So, what I'm talking about here is when you come into your composition, there's this button right here called the Composition Flowchart. And I'm showing this to you now because when we have um, a couple extra pre comps and everything like that in our section, or in our within our main comp I can show it to you a little bit better so if you click on that it'll bring you to the composition flowchart here now I admit that the composition flowchart is pretty much a mess and I don't use it that often um, you can see your different layers and how they are related to other layers so we've got our teardrop um, at, um, file here which was our illustrator file and I was able to create a few um, file or a few layers from that illustrator file called black right black left and brown drop and um, there is also our text here and all that is com compiled within this pre comp I made called original logo as you can see here I'm going to go back to the flowchart actually now we can close these within our flowchart here to make it a little bit nicer looking. But then everything goes to crap and gets all messy again. We have a few options that we can help to clean this up and they're located down here. We've got show footage, show solids, and show layers. Now if we uncheck some of these we can get rid of some of the nonsense um, if you think it's nonsense to um, like lessen up what's going on now we've got all these layers here which are pretty much the same thing as what we have but they're just the number of the layer so we've got our back our background here which was that picture and then it has the layer name right after it so in case like I wanted to change the layer name of this to sunny VG now it has the background name or the background original image name and then the l new layer name so now it's called sunny bg so we can turn those off if we don't need them and it uh, actually helps clear up a lot so now we can open these up now we don't have to see our layers anymore and um, one thing that it does do though however is gets a rid of like shape layer names and everything like that so I mean it's got its advantages and disadvantages there. I'm going to turn them back on. And uh, we got our shape layers here now. We can see our layers of uh, lights and our camera layer. And when we turn those off, we cannot see them. So we can hide things like this. We've got our arrows showing the different flow that um, goes into this and we can uh, change the flow that we have here by clicking on this area, arrow and changing the flow direction so we can go bottom to top we can go left to right and you see sometimes when you do this they overlap each other it's like kinda weird but um, you can't zoom out which is kind of annoying too you have to like you, you have to zoom around um, we can change it from we can just change it all different ways there then we've got our straight and curved lines going on here and if this is too a little confusing for you we can change it to straight lines and it'll be a lot more nicer looking and our and our lines will be a little bit uh, nicer looking and more uh, straightforward I guess so we got those and then you can obviously move things around by clicking on them and dragging on them and organizing them the way you want. Um, I've had a client before tell me that he wanted the composition flowchart nice and neat so I had to come in here one time and arrange everything so it looked nice within the uh, composition flowchart so the person that was using this next could use it also. So it's just good to know in case you ever have to come in here and use the composition flowchart now if you click on a layer and um, 
if you click on a layer and press F3, it'll it's supposed yeah it's supposed to bring up the effect and where it is for you. Um, in CS6, you can just click on the layer and it'll bring up the effect in the effects controls panel now. Also, if you right click in an open space, you get a, all these uh, uh, different options here. We got cleanup, which brings everything into a nice looking uh, section or nice looking area there. So use cleanup when you really need to. Um, we got our different, we can show our effects that, uh, that are on layers. So we can see our fast blur, fill, and this makes it a lot more usable. And then we've got our different uh, justifies here. So if we go to justify center, everything will be like pretty decently um, cleaned up and everything like that. So this is just uh, pretty much for someone to come in and look to see how your uh, logos, I mean, how your uh, pre comps and everything are all set up and how they interact with each other and what's in what really quick. And um, I would only mess with this if uh, you were actually asked to do it. And um, pretty much just, uh, you don't really need to worry about it too much. So uh, that's all I'm going to talk about for this. And uh, thanks for uh, watching this one. And uh, just, uh, I don't know, not much to say about the comp flowchart. It's not, it's not super awesome and it's not super crappy. So, I mean, just use it to if you need it. So thanks for watching the this one, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.